What is the craziest thing you've ever seen in the night sky? Have you seen a meteor crash down to Earth before? If so, comment below. I'm Taylor McWaters, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top 10 concerning objects from the sky that are baffling scientists. Number 10, NASA's flying frog. We'll kick this list off with one of my favorite photos from history. Ever. On September 13th, 2011, NASA's Lydie spacecraft lifted off from Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. Now, to witness a spacecraft take off and go to space, it's amazing, right? People travel across the country to hopefully catch a glimpse of this experience, right? Now, one frame of this specific launch, one photo here, shows an airborne frog just flying, he's spread eagle just in the air, no idea how we got there. The team behind the launch confirms that this photo is real. Can you imagine what's going through his mind right now during this photo? In fact, what was he doing five seconds before this launch was ignited? Just sitting on a throttle booster, eating a fly, he's like, man, what can go wrong? Life, you know? If you ever have the chance to check out a NASA launch, keep your head up, it might rain frogs depending where you are. Number nine. Planet Nine. With James Webb in the picture, we're seeing more of our universe now than ever. For a while now, astronomers have been confident about a ninth planet orbiting the sun. Now this ninth planet is hiding far behind Neptune, so we haven't seen it, obviously. We've been here before though, it's hard to tell the scale of these things. The largest asteroid in the solar system was discovered back in 1801, and that day it was initially classified as a planet. But just like Pluto, it was, you know, kicked out of the planet party. Get out of here, you're too small for us. Must be this tall to be a planet. Peace. Talk about this ninth planet began in 2014 when American astronomer, Dr. Scott Shepard, he found a small dwarf planet candidate called 2012 VP113. And the orbit of this dwarf planet was too large. It didn't make any sense. Something had to be assisting this colossal spin. For the planet to be acting this way, it would have to be 10 times more massive than our planet here, Earth, and it would take at least 10,000 years to orbit the sun just once. So, happy new year, I guess. And considering that it's tucked far behind Neptune, this ninth planet is around 200 times further out than ours. So far, we've covered about 30% of the prime area this planet could be in, and every space fact that I do, I also feel so anxious right after. Holy smokes, space is so scary. Number eight. Bermuda Triangle of Space. Awesome, we love these. If you thought the Bermuda Triangle here on Earth was jarring, buckle up. Turns out they got one in space as well. Awesome, great. I feel the space anxiety in my chest today. A handful of astronauts have experienced this in real life while orbiting our planet. They call it the South Atlantic Anomaly and it's part of the Earth's magnetic field. And many scientists have connected this triangle to the Van Allen radiation belts. So right above the South Atlantic, when the International Space Station passes through this area, computers often stop working and astronauts will sometimes experience cosmic flashes in their eyes. That's terrifying. The Hubble has also glitched out when trying to take observations, so. What's going on here in this weird triangle? Who knows? Maybe it's the Illuminati that Kanye's talking about. Number seven, Elst Pizarro. This next one is quite bizarro. First discovered in 1979, its orbit in the asteroid belt led to it being classified initially as an asteroid. Yet when it was examined more closely in 1996, it showed itself to have a tail like a comet. We love an evolving space rock, I guess. Keep changing, keep confusing us, sure. One possibility, maybe there was a collision at some point and that crash ended up exposing Using some subsurface ice on the body, which is slowly now being lost to space. So now it's whipping by, which explains the new tail. Else Pizarro was an asteroid and then a comet, and then once its layers have melted off, now it could be just a plain old boring asteroid. Again, we're not too sure here. Else Pizarro got the zoomies for a hot minute, but we're not sure why. Experts had hoped to launch the Castalia spacecraft in 2028 to get a better look, but since 2016, the European Space Agency hasn't had any funding to give this project the green light so we'll never know probably awesome what's Elon doing can we send him up take a look number six Scotland fireball what's believed to be space junk belonging to Elon Musk this fireball seen crashing down over Scotland and Northern Ireland has experts scratching their heads the fireball was visible for 20 seconds around 10 p.m. on September 14th reminder this was only a couple of months ago so you might remember it there were around 1200 reports on the ball including 10 videos the UK Meteor Network wrote on Twitter the next day stating, quote, we have checked the Starlink D orbit and it would have not have come anywhere near the UK. At this point, we cannot find any known space junk or satellite D orbit that could account for this fireball. We are looking at the data again, 
end quote. This lasted 20 seconds, where a meteor would be much, much shorter. Any theories as to what this was? I know a lot of our viewers live around this area, so comment down below if you witnessed Optimus Prime's arrival two months ago. Number five, Michigan Lights. If you're a fan of the series Unsolved Mysteries over on Netflix, this next one here should ring a familiar bell. March 8th, 1994, more than 300 911 calls were made, all of which were reporting strange lights in the night sky right along the eastern shore of Lake Michigan. That is way too close to our home right now. That's terrifying. I was born in 1994 as well, so who knows? Maybe I was dropped off by aliens. These objects, these UFOs in question, were described as round like disks, or they were like floating spheres. Both jarring descriptions. They all had different colored lights as well, so planes are obviously out of the question. It's been so long now that the case has finally found its way to Netflix, so no, it is still not solved. Number four, Steve. Nice, an unexplainable light in the sky named Steve. This sounds Canadian already. Back in 2018, this mystery came to light. There's a light in the sky in Canada and scientists still have no idea what it is. All they know is that they call it Steve. Steve is short for Strong Thermal Emission Velocity Enhancement. Now, Steve's appearance, I can't lie, he is beautiful. He's gorgeous to look at. Steve looks like a white, purplish ribbon that stretches throughout the sky, almost like the Northern Lights, only scientists are sure that Steve is not an aurora. It's very hot and it doesn't last long. Classic Steve, doesn't last long, eh? Must be Canadian. Number three, Hodges Meteorite. Now these meteorites, they can happen pretty often, but luckily most of the time it doesn't wipe out everybody and everything. That's pretty good. Sorry, dinosaurs. Thanks for taking one for the team for us. Back in 1954, residents in Talladega County, Alabama, noticed a ball of fire heading towards them. Now, we didn't have Twitter. We couldn't warn people that maybe a meteor was about to hit and wipe us out forever. And we also didn't really know how to tell if meteorites were coming and how scary it was. So it was alarming, especially for Anne Elizabeth Hodges, who got hit by that said space rock. Yeah, that ball of fire that we always see going through the sky, that hit her, it grazed her hip. Now you may be asking, was she outside stargazing at this point? Was she doing some cosmic ritual? No, she was napping in her living room and then an eight pound chunk of meteorite smashed through her roof and again, only grazed her hip. She got grazed by a meteorite and then received a bruise. First human to ever get hit by a meteorite and probably the last. What a flex that is. Imagine putting that on Tinder. Number two, go fast. Okay, a bit more modern now. This one was trending recently, but it was originally recorded back in 2015. It was part of that big alien leak that we got to witness over the pandemic. That was fun. That was just what we needed. Middle of the pandemic, the news is like, hey, check out these UFOs also. We don't know, good luck. Now what you're seeing here is an FA-18 Super Hornet following a UAP. Now we don't call them UFOs anymore because that's so M. Night Shyamalan, all right? We don't do that. We call them UAPs, also sounds a little smarter. US Navy personnel caught this UAP flying along the East Coast and there was no exhaust, there was no wings, just a really fast sphere, almost like I mentioned earlier. A 45 foot long egg, 25,000 feet above the Atlantic, just whipping and it flew away and nobody saw it ever since. Do we think UFOs are balls like spheres? I think that's the new thing. We went from disks to spheres. Finally, number one, Uranus tilts. Jokes aside, and you best believe I had about 20 ready, we're still trying to figure out why Uranus rotates on its side, when every other planet has their axis pointing upwards, right? Uranus's tilt is 98 degrees, so there's long periods of time, like 40 years long, where the north or south pole will just face the sun directly. It'll just, it'll just grill the sun for 40 years straight. Perfect place to get your tan on. The other pole, not so much. They're gonna be pale for 40 years, like my dad. Other planets in our solar system, they have a prograde rotation. Now Venus, that has a retrograde rotation. But why, what's going on here? So far, our leading theory is that something massive may have hit these planets many, many moons ago, early in their planet life. Scientists believe that Uranus was hit by a meteor and completely threw it off course. Gotta be careful, gotta watch, gotta watch Uranus, all right? Hit that thumbs up for Uranus. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. That was a lot of fun. I hope you want a part two because I'm already writing it. I love space, so let's do it. We'll see you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. Bye.